We have only recently learned that there is going to be a reboot in the franchise and even though the company has been making the necessary moves for this for a long time, the details have only recently started to be released. Because of this, there are many fans who are a bit confused with some details about what the reboot might be, and, in this video, we are going to explain everything we know. You must remember that some things are already official, but there are other things that are only rumors. You also must understand that there are details that are almost obvious since due to everything that has happened in the past, we can guess what they are going to change in the future. The first thing we should talk about are the Rangers that they are going to present in this new stage of the franchise and when a reboot is mentioned, many think that they are going to start with the same story of the Mighty Morphin. Basically, this was the same thing that happened in the 2017 movie, they created the Mighty Morphin story again, but changed some details so that it could connect better with the story they wanted to tell. For now, what is known is that they are not going to tell old stories modified, which means that they are going to create a new team, a new story and everything is going to be different. Basically, they are not going to do like the 2017 movie, but they are going to create a new team, with a new name and a new story. You must remember that the Power Rangers will now be for a young adult audience, so the stories are going to be darker, and this is why it's better to create everything from scratch. By creating a new team, they can give them a darker and more fantasy-filled starting story, which can enhance the story of the entire saga. For each team it has always been important to have a name, but for now nobody knows what will be the name of this new group. Write in the comments some possible names for the new Power Rangers team. Something important about the team is the number of members it may have as this can be a positive or negative thing in the entire series. In my opinion, I think the perfect number of members for a team should be between 5 or 6 Rangers as it is quite balanced. If there are very few Rangers, then we won't be able to see as much variety of powers and there are less stories to tell because there are less important characters. If there are too many members, then it can be a bit confusing, plus there are too many stories going on at the same time. Another detail that we have talked about before is the Zords, and there was a rumor that they might not use many scenes with the Zords. This is obviously not confirmed, but it is something that makes a lot of sense and could happen. For us fans it would obviously be devastating since the Zords are an essential part of the Power Rangers and we all look forward to that exciting moment when the Zords arrive. If we put ourselves in the producer's shoes, we can understand that creating the Zords is very expensive and perhaps this is the motivation for not using these scenes. Maybe they don't see it as fans, but as investors and it is difficult to know if you are going to recover all that money that you are going to invest in creating those scenes. The normal thinking that they probably have is trying to figure out if it's worth it to create a lot of scenes from these machines. Remember that now they want to do a project with high quality, which means they can't create scenes of the Zords with mediocre CGI and they can't create something that looks like it was made for children. You must create robots of excellent quality and to achieve this you are going to have to use high level CGI. To create this, they must invest a lot of money, so this is something that makes a lot of sense. Let's hope that the producers think more about the fans and not the money because if they create something amazing, then they are going to get the support they are looking for. Another thing we know is that they are not going to create anything in 2024, they will basically pause everything to do with the Power Rangers. The excuse they've given is that franchises that have been around for many years need a pause at some point and this supposedly helps fans not get the new material suddenly. Power Rangers has been doing basically the same thing for 30 years, so to suddenly change this may be confusing to some people. This break may be good for fans, although it may not be so good for Power Rangers content creators as there is not as much information to give fans. 
Despite this, if the franchise takes a break, then they can start a new universe without the risk of fans confusing the stories with the old universe. It should be remembered that this new universe is not going to have any connection to the old universe, so the stories are not going to be able to be mixed up. Previously, even though Power Rangers was starting a new season, the producers had the ability to mix different teams from different seasons and this helped the story a lot. With the reboot, this is not going to be able to happen again as the old universe and the new universe are going to be two completely different universes. Even, according to some rumors on the internet, the new universe is also not going to have a connection to the universe of the 2017 movie. That movie has no connection to the universe we have known for 30 years and this is obvious since the characters are the same as the Mighty Morphin team but they are completely different people. Sometimes people don't quite understand what a reboot is, so I'm going to try to explain it in the easiest way. When they are going to reboot a franchise, they just need to use the basic formula of the project and with this they create something new that is not going to have any connection to the previous project. In the case of Power Rangers, the new project is going to have the basic things which are the Rangers, the villains, the costumes, and the weapons. The other things can be changed since this is the basics that Power Rangers has and although we have been used to many things, the reality is that in a reboot they can change almost everything. We are going to mention some important details that it is almost obvious that they are going to change in this reboot and these are things that they need to modify. The first thing they are possibly going to eliminate is the silly comedy and even in Cosmic Fury this was eliminated. Despite the changes they made in Cosmic Fury, this series is still for a child audience and they still removed the silly comedy. If the new reboot universe is going to be for an adult audience, then it shouldn't have silly comedy either, so this is a practically obvious thing they are going to remove. Another obvious thing they should change is the costumes, and that's because we've been seeing costumes created from the same material for 30 years. We have only seen two Power Rangers teams that have had costumes created with different materials, these teams were the 1995 and 2017 movies. In the reboot obviously the costumes need to be very different, but they can't lose the essence of what the Power Rangers are. This is going to be very important for this reboot because, if the costumes are not to the public's liking, then the production could have a lot of trouble attracting fans. Another thing that is obvious that they are going to change are the villains as previously they could not give us such evil villains because it is a children's series and now that it is going to be an adult series, then they can give us really evil villains. If you would like to know more about the reboot, like this video and subscribe to get to know the new Power Rangers universe.